on the flip side of things we have this event curse your fold big up fold this is a big one big 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 one so this is happening on the 5th of october on the 5th of october a very special fold extended i'm still a bit pissed off that the whole like premise of fold opening was that it was going to be the first 24-hour nightclub and because it's in canning town a place that i was i basically grew up in my my literal mum still lives around the corner and shit i go there all the time I, I assume they would have got away with it because Cannon Town's not really like a... I wouldn't say it's highly... It's, it's not like a densely residential populated area. And there's places, especially where Fold is, which is on the other side of the tracks, near to all the like postal areas and some of the garages and shit, bus garages, all these other things. You can effectively have a club there and you could crank up the volume and go crazy because there's not a lot of like residential areas around. And a lot of councils in London, they are the ones that kind of determine how long clubs can open for because if they're near residential areas, the local neighbours and whatever complain and they usually get, um, you know, uh, restrictions put on clubs and told them they have to lower the sound, they have to put the sound at a certain decibel they usually come in and install like a limiter on the actual sound system or if it goes over you get fined or worst comes to worst they'll take away your late license so i did think i had aspiration i had hope i had hope that when the initial press release went out about fold that they were going to follow through with that 24-hour club thing but it didn't happen so now they have these licenses which extended hours which i think they can go on until like 12 i think in the afternoon which is decent but I still would have preferred that 24 hour thing so that you could effectively go to fold from like Friday to Sunday ish. That would be fucking sick, but it's not the case. So we have to kind of make do what we have. Short in to go, con conclusion here fold and Malajunta extended fucking set um, or extended night on the 5th of October. Berlin serial rule breakers are back. It's a bit cringy, by the way. Rule breakers, I don't know what that means. There's no way to write dance music blurb without sounding cringe in it. Berlin serial rule breakers like, ugh. Um, and this time they are wrecking twice the amount of havoc oh come on bro wrecking havoc play pressing Q and play like we're just mixing bro this is a this, this is a sir this is a nightclub you know there's there's no wreaking havoc here um the only people the only thing people are wreaking havoc is in the toilets when they do their fucking coke ketamine or gb ghb fucking shits that's what you're that's when you're wreaking havoc no one's wreaking havoc on the behind the decks you know what i mean um after three encounters that tore up our history books europe's chief orchestrators of chaos return on saturday the 5th of october with a 14 hour extended takeover of our entire venue you know what's really funny? I was just thinking about this aloud. Management has kind of taken over um, Heron Sauna, isn't it? Heron Sauna was like the big, cool, kind of like party collective or crew in general. But I feel like Heron Sauna has kind of taken over. Oh, sorry, I feel like uh, Management has taken over from them. I wonder why. I wonder what happened to Heron Sauna. Did, did, Heron, did Heron Sauna like purposely take a step back and not want to be all out there and shit? Like, I wonder what like caused... Um, them to not be the premier or the go-to like cool collective because i feel like management has definitely taken over but the list of people playing ay -ya 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 -ya. you got um amphia cosmic d dan my guy who i love gloria rose rotting rini dj the most important person on the list here renee wise playing ga, 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 ga. <laughs> in that fucking false base again it's gonna be fucking incredible you got river back to back to a tikra you got um tedesco you got voice showing back to back with james newmarsh you got yb you got yazza's playing i'm a big fan of dj tool who i fucking love from fucking um Malajunta. that is a sick lineup bro that is a crazy crazy good lineup look at that fucking lineup that's a that's a one to go to for sure i'm definitely got my eyes on that um i think october is also the time going forward i might be at um open ground um over there in germany and shit so i might have to kind of plan this in advance or whatnot and figure out what days i want to go but that is a crazy lineup and allegedly they're taking over the entire space and i haven't seen the entire space of fold even though i've been to fold a lot and i was there during their first party when they first opened and shit i haven't been to the other rooms because I, I don't go to unfold never been there um you know because i have a job and shit i can't be raving on a sunday but i haven't seen the other rooms but allegedly the other rooms are pretty sick so that'll be a good chance to see them because i'll you know it's unlikely that i'm ever going to go to fold um so i am really 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 excited to check out this space and see what i want um let's actually see if they got they say early bird tickets are available really early bird tickets are available already let's see these early i bet the early bird tickets are already sold out how many how much you want to bet these early bird tickets are already fucking sold out i bet you they fucking are i bet you these early bird tickets right for this malajunta ting i bet you any money they're already fucking sold out let me see 
I bet you any money they are. Let's see, four tickets. Wait, where are they? There we go. Four tickets. I have a feeling they're already sold out. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what these motherfuckers are saying. Because early bird tickets are like what? Ten pounds? Unfold. You got fold Annabel Arayo playing with back to back with Alba Haidari. Uh, the Malajunta extended event. Let's see if they got if they got early bird tickets. Today. If they have, I'm gonna buy them literally today. Cause those those might be like 10, 15 pounds. So it's good just to get them and store them. Even though I'm a fucking serial buyer of tickets and non attender, I think these ones are actually will attend. So let's actually scroll down and see Wagwan here buy tickets. Early bird tickets still available? They sold out. Cause usually they only have like 50 available just to get people to run and buy them straight away. Let's see how many tickets are available. Will they have early bird tickets available? Am I going to be lucky? No, of course not. Already sold out. Wow. That is crazy, bro. They already sold out the early bird tickets and the first release. So now only second release available. Fucking hell. Fuck. Oh, okay, you got an entry after 6 a.m. is happening. But I guess this, this extended event is probably going to go on until what? Like 10 a.m.? Oh, wow. It's 2 p.m. the next day. That's insane. There's, that's not a bank holiday, is it? On that 5th of October. Let me double check my calendar here. I don't think that's a bank holiday or anything. It's just like a random weekend. That's fucking wild. It's on until 2 p.m. the next day. I'm definitely not going to survive the whole thing, but that's going to be quite interesting to see. Imagine all the imagine all the all the all the dust, dusty people walking to fucking Canning Town or West Ham Jubilee Line to go back home, covered in muck at 2 p.m. Jaws swinging, 3 p.m. Eye pupils dilated. That's going to be such a scene. This probably might be cool to start phot photographing some of that, actually. The people walking up the hill and go out to Canning Town and seeing all the people that leave um, Fold and shit. That might be a good thing to kind of document as a as a project. But yeah, um, early bird release are gone. First release are gone. Second release is available for £22, uh, 25 including booking fee. That is crazy, bro. They saw that so fast. It just got announced the other day, I felt like. Literally got announced the other day and already they're fucking sold out. That is insane. All right, man. All right, I guess I was late. I guess I was fucking late as per usual. But yeah, it's available now. Check it out. 5th of, of the October, extended fold and Malajun tonight. Cannot wait. That'll be a fucking sick one. Rene fucking Wise is playing again. That's easy excuse to go and see, to go and hang out at fold. I you know, haven't been in ages. D Dan playing, who I'm a big fan of. DJ Tool, who I love. Yazis, who I love. Album actually released recently is fucking sick. So I'm really curious to see what they're going to be like. IRL definitely curious to see what they're going to be like irl next we have to mention this event happening at fold forward forward remember legendary forward night man this happened at matter plastic peoples as you go to back in the day um this might have been my introduction to actual jam and bass i'm not gonna lie um so this is pretty sick to see um it also weirdly enough this might be the only fold event that might have the most black people ever <laughs> apart from some of those like reggae nights they used to do those dub nights i'm not sure if they still do them anymore but this might be one of the only weekends where you'll see a increased amount of like black people which is nice because you know usually forward is very very white um as per their fucking resident dj list and you know parties in general but it's gonna be nice to see that little bit of a mix in there right so a couple more air maxes a couple more track suits maybe a couple more sovereign rings maybe a couple more people sneaking in magnums and shit maybe a couple of more fucking shysties and shit you know just to kind of kind of kind of kind of you know kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of give a bit of a judge so i'm happy to see that um lineup is pretty dusty not gonna lie um, I think a lot of these people need to just hang it up and move on. But regardless, let's read the blurb. Forward says the dance music is history is cemented. Now the mythical event series, birthplace of dubstep, will, will, will come to fold for the very first time in October. The, uh, the 2000s have defined the meteoric rise of the, the, the bass driven heavy music launched in 2001. The club night quickly cultivated a space for underground British music to thrive. First in velvet rooms, then showed its fa um, fabled realm of darkness, plastic peoples. Also, Matter, by the way. Matter's one of the best venues out, underfloor fucking speakers and shit. Like fucking crepe lace, um, with their with their speaker rattling bass and low end ex um, extremes and constant embracing of new emerging sounds. Fold was a breeding ground for the next generation of UK based artists that would come to dominate the dance floors and the airways for years to come. On Friday, the 11th of October, um, Forward takes over Fold. Joining them will be Joker, Introspective, Vivek, Rennie, Plastician. 
Dazzle Boy, Horsepower Productions, um, AL03, Crazy D, and I guess there'll be a few more people. Um, obviously not the best banging lineup in the world, but still, you know, if you like that kind of music, if you still, if you're still listening to dubstep and shit, and I guess because we got, we have like a 2000s revival going on at the moment, which feels very kind of trendy and very kind of blip on the rave is probably going to go away after, you know, the end of the year, like trance is probably going to go back into its fucking hole as well. Thank God. But if you're into it, I, you know, probably go and check it out. You know, dubstep is still um, decent, especially some of the older stuff. That might be a good thing to go and check out. But yeah, probably the only time you'll see a, um, a proliferation or an increase, especially if not black people, you know, a couple of what you describe as roadmen will be at fucking forward. So looking forward to that. That should be a good one. I'll probably not go though, because you know, I don't like to re, you know, live in the past. I think same thing with Funky House Nights. There's no chance I'm going to like a Funky House Night in 2024. And there's no chance I'm going to a dubstep night, especially a forward night in 2024 also. It was a good time. I had a blast when it was happening, but no need to relive that shit in my personal opinion. But again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You never, never, ever, ever know.